fun fact. I stopped that clip because I had run out of the oil that I was using and I was going to pop in a different one. And then I sat back down and couldn't remember where I stopped putting oil in. So I stood up to grab my phone because that's what's doing my overview. And I couldn't, I didn't want to go through the whole thing and I couldn't like fast forward it in the clamp. So I went to take it off and I dropped my phone on the bottles and they all fell. They all, not all of them, but a lot of them tipped over. And so I lost like this much liquid in it and whatever oils were in there. And so now those are all, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they smell fine. You, you really you can't mess up a smelly blend of anything. I'm over it. I'm over it already. Scrooge McGee. That's me, Scrooge McGee. Hi, friends. Welcome. Guys, I'm, um, I'm tired. I'm tired today. Today is the 15th. Yay, December 15th. Um, it is a Wednesday. Thanks for being here. I am looking a fright right now. It's about, it's not even eight o'clock. Um, hi, I'm Trisha. This is my channel, Throughout Threads, where I talk about cross stitch and other things that I'm into. And this is the 15th day of Vlogmas. This all seems really misplaced. I should really work on seeing this first. It's okay though. This is how my day goes and this is what vlogging is all about. So. This is where we're at. So um, today was a work from home day. I had meetings all morning and then just intense work and then a meeting at the end of the day and more intense work. I logged off late. Um, and then as soon as I fed my kids, I started working on my, I don't have any of them in here. I started working on my office gifts for the party tomorrow. You saw them. I don't know why I have to show you. Um, this is one of my one of my prototypes that I made last week. So I made three different. This smells so good. This one is very strong because I I altered the ingredients a little bit. So. I made three different room sprays with my essential oils and um, I used a good lot. I actually emptied out my peppermint and my clary, oh no, there's still some clary sage in there. Oh, maybe there's a bunch in there. I can't tell. Doesn't matter. Oh no, there's not, there's nothing in there. It was a reflection. Oh no, there's some in there. I don't know. I think my peppermint's gone though. Who knows? Anyway, I almost emptied those out anyway. Um, so I'm really excited. I made 20 of each flavor, so I have 60. 60 people are not gonna come to this party, but I figure I will, it's a work party, if I didn't say that already. But I will give some away as um, gifts to my coworkers, so like people in my office, they can have a couple. I figure I'll give some to my neighbor, I will give some to my mom, I will give some to um, my ex-husband and his wife, maybe my outlaws. I'll find ways to use them and, and I'll use them. This room smells of pine and cinnamon. Mostly pine though. There's um, one of the ones I made called Oh Christmas Tree is just heavy. That's what I made last night and I can still smell it. Oh, that's what I used. I must have thrown it away. I went through a whole bottle. As I stick, I can't even find them. It's in my garbage. I went through a whole bottle of um, Idaho something fur. I, anyway, I used up some of my essential oils and I'm really happy about that. So those are done. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, the kids have holiday parties tomorrow and Friday. I took their cookies. 
they already took those libraries tomorrow I had them take their library books in today Archer has a book exchange I wrapped the book yesterday you at the time of this recording haven't seen that yet because I still haven't edited yesterday and I probably won't edit tonight either that's okay it was a good run it's fine um you know, I did some laundry. My mom is getting a cat. Did I mention that I'm getting my cat, my mom a cat for Christmas? You'll get to see the kitty on Saturday because um, the person that has the cat now is a coworker of mine and uh, the kitty was a stray and she's been taking care of it and I decided to adopt it for my mom. So I'm excited for that. So today I had to go to the pet store and pick up an order that I placed online. That's it. Let's open up some advents. And then I can go to bed. This is heavy. So this is today is 15 from Sweet Sparrow Yarns. There is something. There is something in here. Ooh. This is the little gifty. It's a measuring tape. Cute. And it's fabric covered. That's adorable. Oh, and I don't even know where, I don't know what I, oh, here it is, because I spilled a bunch of stuff, I'll, oh my god, that was terrible, spilled a bunch of stuff all over my desk, it was a nightmare. Okay, today is the 15th, as we dream by the fire, is what that is called, and it is in the swift face. That is beautiful. Love that. That little gifty in there too. Okay, 15. I believe this is 15 from Under the Sea Fabrics. It's a floss bag for a pattern called I Believe. So remember yesterday was the fabric. Today is the thread. And it looks like they are all DMC. Mm, what kind of pattern are we gonna get? Here is 15 from Stitchy Box. Oh, cute. It's a little charm. Christmas tree charm, a happy little tree, as Bob Ross used to say. That's cute. And then 15 from um, Hooting Pirate. Little guy in there. It's another tea bag. Mmm. That smells good. I mean, it's not anything exciting, and there's zero indication of what the flavor is, whether it's caffeinated, not caffeinated. But it smells good. It smells a little bit like vanilla. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Yes, I do. I don't like that. Send me a weird tea bag with no name or anything on it. No. I want to show you something I got in the mail today. I have not opened it yet. Um, this is from the Etsy shop Pop and Lock It, and I will try very hard to link it below. And Pop and Lock It sells jewelry uh, with crystals and gemstones. And I saw, I don't know how I found the shop. I think I was just scrolling on Instagram. Anyway, so I saw a product that I super duper loved, and I turned on notifications so that... I wouldn't miss any updates and I happened to see that they updated with this piece of jewelry that I wanted and I got so excited that I went and purchased the uh, earrings of this design because I thought that's all there was even though I didn't really want the earrings but I really wanted the design and then after I purchased them I saw a pendant and I was like oh crap so I bought the pendant right away because the stuff sells out super fast and then I had to swallow my pride because I did not need the earrings and the pendant, and they weren't inexpensive. 
and I just thought, I mean, I'll, I'll buy both because I bought both, but if I can not buy both. So I emailed the, the, the shop owner, the jewelry designer, and I'm like, Hey, I was just really excited and I will totally keep both pieces of jewelry. Like I bought them. That's on me. But if I can return the earrings and you think they will sell right away, that would be amazing. And she responded, absolutely, no problem. She refunded me right away. And then, you know, I sent her a message again. And I'm like, thank you so much. You really didn't have to, but I really super appreciate it. I was just so excited. I'm so embarrassed. And she's like, seriously, it's not a problem. I've already sold them. <laughs> so I was very thankful for that. Um, this is her card. Pop and lock it, and Corey is the designer's name. So that's her information. And this is the packaging. And we are gonna open it up and see what this looks like in person. So it looks like she uses recycled stuff to put it in. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. It's a solar system. Pendant. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. Look at the sun and it's so lightweight. I was really worried um, that it would be heavy, especially with the earrings, which you know I didn't end up getting. But... Okay, so jewelry care tips. So this is in, this is sterling silver. Let me take it off the thingy. I'm going to wear this tomorrow. It is not going to go with my ugly sweater that I'm wearing for our party. But I don't care because I want to wear it. I'm getting there. I don't want to break it. We know how I do with pendants, right? They fall apart at my fingertips and then I obliterate them I'm trying to fix them. Okay. Ah! Okay, here we go. I love that she uses recycled cardboard. That is so funny. Okay. Let's try it on. A little bit shorter than I thought, but that's okay. I'm sure it will be fine. It is a little bit shorter, but it's a good length. I'm not going to be able to see. <laughs> Help me, I need a mom. There we go. bring you closer. Hang, hang, hang tight. Oh, look at that. So pretty. Okay. Thanks for humoring me. Okay. I don't have any glasses either, so I can't see. Copper and brass react with the salts in your sweat, which can cause a black or green discoloration called oxidation. This does not degrade your piece and does not indicate allergic reaction. Tighter fitting jewelry like rings and cups without airflow around them or items worn on the face tend to oxidize more. Here are some helpful tips to keep your pop and locket pieces looking shiny and new. Sorry. For a lifetime of wear. Remove. This is all good information. Listen up. Remove chains before showering, bathing, or swimming. I recommend showering in bracelets or I recommend showering and bracelets or other jewelry without chains to help remove daily oxidation buildup. Avoid contact with perfumes and harsh chemicals. Remove jewelry before exercise. Prolonged exposure to extreme heat and sweat. Eating a clean diet and drinking plenty of water can help your brass and keep your brass and copper shiny. Bonus DIY cleaners. Acid is your best friend. Try vinegar or lemon juice or even ketchup. Just soak. 
slash coat for three to five minutes, scrub with an old toothbrush, rinse and repeat, rinse and dry, repeat if necessary. Interesting. Okay. But I don't have copper, so I'm good. Or brass. So that's what I bought for myself. I can't remember what crystals are in this. I'm not even going to look it up. Nobody wants to sit here and wait for that. Oh, she included a little crystal. This is tiger's, tiger's eye. Tiger, tiger eye. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That's fun. Aw, thank you, Corey. I will definitely link her shop because that is super sweet. Well, I saw that. All right, kids. I'm going to be done for now. I have done everything that I can do for today. And I am going to go find some chocolate to eat. I can turn that off. Ooh, yeah. Um, I still have not watered my plants in here, so I'm going to do a little of that too. <laughs> and I'm going to go to bed and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Hope you had a good day. Bye.